Okay, live and direct here, Scope Mag headquarters somewhere in New England. We are so excited to have someone who is not dealing with the cold weather that we're dealing with, but this is nothing of, of what we have coming. We're not going to worry about that today, though. We have got, I'm just so, I'm just so happy to have this guest today, Dr. Wright. Dr. Wright, please say hello to the people. <laughs> Southern California, nice. Um, where where exactly in Southern California? I am in Rancho Cucamonga, so I'm right between Los Angeles and Palm Springs. Oh wow, wow! Now you know I hear a lot on the on the East Coast. You know, the, 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 there's water issues going on there. Is that is that is that for real, or is that just the media? No, that is absolutely for real. We are definitely in a drought, and so we are uh, always in danger of having huge, huge fires. We've had several fires. Uh, unfortunately, one of the fires that has burned several acres came from a gender reveal party where the parents expecting a baby were in dry brush and decided to light some sort of fireworks to show what kind of baby they were having, a girl or a boy, and they lit the entire Los Angeles forest on fire and burnt 70% of it down. Wow. So wow. Uh, we, are, we are very, very dry. And so uh, gender reveal parties are pretty much, you know, not, not, persona non grata, we pretty much don't do that in California anymore because the woman who even invented that, she's like, please just don't do this anymore. Like, nobody do this anymore. It's just, it's terrible. So, uh, we are in a drought. We are expected to have drought for the next two years. The way we get our water in Southern California, some of it we have to share with Arizona, which is also desert. And so, uh, it, you know, it does not look good for us. So anytime we can get some rain, we're very, very happy about that. And we're moving into, uh, conservation mode in terms of they're asking people to think about not having grass, having, you know, the gravel and desert types of landscaping and do things to conserve water. Yeah, well, you got to adapt. You got to adapt. But enough about the water. I want to talk about Dr. Wright. Um, you have got so much going on. Please tell the people, give them a brief intro. I mean, we got about 10 minutes with you. I know you're so busy today, but just, I don't know, give it... You know, there's so much about you, I couldn't just sum it up and, you know, let, let the people know what's going on. Well, the, the most recent stuff is uh, I have my own television show. I've had my own show, The Right Place, for the last 21, almost 22 years when we get to January. And I've interviewed business moguls from around the world about how to start their own business. So I've been doing this way before Shark Tank, way before all these other shows, so that people could listen and learn and get some great nuggets. And what I've been able to do over the last couple of years is expand my show to Roku, Amazon, Fire TV. Ooh, uh, not to interrupt, pardon, my, pardon the interruption. I'm actually on Roku right now. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, I don't. I have the only cable. The only uh, the only cable thing I guess I kind of have is YouTube TV. Absolutely. Well, you can download Right Place TV. It's an app. You can download it into your Roku station and watch for free. And we have a lot of great diverse business television. I have a little music section on my channel so that people can watch some great business television and then they can switch and and watch the music they you know one of my music friends miss i she's on the channel to kind of give people a break eyes is incredible she's been helping she's incredible she's been helping build this she's thing incredible. yeah isn't she brilliant i love hanging yeah. out with her um and so i have a little bit of music on the station but you know you can take a break and then you can go back and you know really learn from some business greats and get your business back on track and so that has been a really great thing and and what i found out is that other people wanted to have their own channels and so i in the pan in the middle of the pandemic i started building Roku and Apple TV channels and Amazon Fire TV channels for other professionals and managing the channels for them. So, good I knew for I you. That's amazing. That is that's amazing. I knew I, I, I wanted to be Oprah, but I didn't know other people wanted to be Oprah too. So I'm helping other people have their own channel, have their own stuff, not be throttled on social media. 
mean, you know, YouTube and Facebook, they're only going to let you show so much. And so when you have your own channel, you can really get out there as far and wide as you want. You can charge what you want. You can make money. You can really have the freedom to do whatever you want. And so I'm here in the background building it for them and maintaining it for them while they create and focus on creating content. And so I'm having a great time. It's a sweet spot for me. I handle the technicals. They handle the content, and it's a great time. So that's kind of what I've been focusing on. Oh, that's very on. exciting. And, um, yeah, we built 25 channels, and my goal for uh, 2022 is to help 75 other channels come into being and get people's voices out there because I know that if enough great voices get out there, we can change the world to the positive. Yeah, I agree. I think the more access people have to other people, the better we all are as humanity. I really do. Mm-hmm. You know, and that's that's amazing. So now if somebody is interested in having their own channel, how do they go about getting in touch with you? Hey, all they have to do is ring me up, old-fashioned 90s style telephone, <laughs> 909-235-9744, or, you know, they can go to the right place. TV.com. And now, can you spell that out? Because yeah. you know how it is. Is it W-R? Can you spell it out for the people? You know how it is. Yeah. Rightplace.com. You know yes. how it is. It's like my name. W-R-I-G-H-T P-L-A-C-E Dot com. So nice. W-R-I-G-H-T yeah, right place, TV.com, but they can, you know, go there, email me, and we can talk about it. Uh, if they want to learn more about it, they can check out rightplacestudios.com, and that, again, that's like my name, W-R-I-G-H-T, place, P-L-A-C-E, TV, studios, rightplacestudios.com. Yeah, it's so important, you know, people throw their websites out there, they got to be clear, it's, it's, it's just so impressive uh, how much you're doing. Now, are you also a practicing physician or are you, you obviously have your doctorate? I am a physician. I am not practicing. I have not been seeing patients for quite some time. Oh, okay. And I'll tell you, yeah, I'll tell you why. I struggled for years in my practice because I had no mentor when I came out of school. And so I got out there, I was a great doctor, but I, I didn't know, how, you know, how does the money flow? I didn't know that when you hooked up with an attorney and they brought you a patient that you weren't going to get paid for years and years and years. Well, guess what? The bills you got to pay in your practice come in every month. Mm, yeah, no, <laughs> I didn't yeah, know. No, I wasn't going to be getting money for, for months and months. And so... I really struggled with the practice side. The other people in my classes had doctors that were mentoring them and financing them and doing that. I didn't have that. And so I went around, uh, you know, talking to different doctors and I, you know, I said, Hey, I just, I really need a mentor. I really need, you know, some help. No, no, no. One doctor said, if you have kids, you need to go home and be with your kids. One doctor said, you live two towns over, you're practicing two towns over. I'm not going to help you. You're too close to me. You know, I'm in San Bernardino. You're in Rancho Cucamonga. I'm not going to help you. Um, there's, you know, I just couldn't find any help. I applied to what's called a practice management company. That is a company that, you know, 20 years ago, they would come in. That, this was, there were no books. There were no TV shows. There's no SBA TV, no nothing. So this was a company that would come in and help you figure out how to get your practice together and make more money. I applied to them. They gave me a call. I thought they were calling to tell me when the uh, official person was going to come in and help me. They called and said, yeah, Dr. Wright, we got your application. And I had my pencil and paper ready. And they said, yeah, you don't make enough money to be one of our clients. And well, look, it's, you know, that's, that's typical, but you know, look where you are now. I always like to focus on the positive. I mean, I, uh, I recently went okay. through a divorce um, you know, I mean, you just go through struggles in life, but you know what, if, if you can come out of it, it makes you stronger. And I think that, you know, it, it, this is what happened with you with your, now you got your new situation going, which might have not happened and, you know, and, and myself, and it's, it's a blessing in disguise. It's a saving grace. It really is. It really was. It really was. You know, I, I, 
ago, but at the time it was it was pretty painful. Oh my god, of course <laughs> it went. Oh my, Doctor Wright, when you're going through it, it's the worst. Oh, it's the worst. Absolutely, absolutely. So now, what what are you feeling about the you know the country, the U.S.? You feeling optimistic? I mean, we got a lot going on in this country. Good, bad. I you know. I, I I tend to not watch the media, as I told you. I'm more kind of a Roku guy. But what you know, how are you kind of feeling about things going into 2022? We got the holidays, we got New Year's. What's happening? I really feel optimistic. I'm a, I'm an optimistic person in general. I feel like yes, we have been some through some really tough times, but it has given everybody an opportunity to figure out what is important to them. And people are seeing that you know their families are important. They're really you know, come to understand, you know, yes, we need material things to, to get along in life. We do have to eat and we do have to, you know, live under a roof. But we've also seen that it's important to help other people. It's also important to, you know, put our hand out and make sure, you know, our neighbors next door to us are okay too, not just our family. And I think that that's a really, really good thing. I'm seeing people be more caring and more concerned about other people. And I, and I really like that. And so I think that we are actually on a better path. I think that people don't always know exactly what to do, but they are open, a little more open, a little more see. They understand that people are hurting. You know, when people see the news of, you know, 900 people getting laid off, they just don't go, oh, wow, well, you know, that's too bad. They really do have empathy. I do. People. I and absolutely do. Thinking. That you know, that's so many mothers. That's so many mothers and fathers who have to go home now with no no paycheck coming in on Friday. I mean, that's a that's a nightmare. Right, and and people really think about that. They're not just passively taking in the news and going, "Oh well, to that to them." And and so I really I really like that because that means that the next step is well, how can we help? How can we bring solutions? So I, I don't know. I'm very uh, optimistic, and I, I feel that we're going in a good direction. Things, you know, ships don't turn overnight. We can't undo the damage in a month that has been happening over the years. But I think we're going in the right direction. I think we have more empathy. I think we care about. People. Well, listen, Doctor Red. I'd hate to cut you off. We are about to hit the 13 minute mark. Let the people know where they can reach out to you, and uh, we got to wrap it up. But this has been incredible. And then, if you could stay on the line after, I just want to talk to you real quick and 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 say goodbye. So let the people know what's going on with Doctor Wright, where they can get in touch with whatever you lay it on them. Absolutely, go to rightplacetv.com. Right, w r i g h t place p l a c e t v dot com. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for having me, Mike. Oh, it's been an absolute pleasure. And if you could just stay on the line. And here we are, Scope Mag, closing off another good one. Another good one. ScopeMag.com, go there. Brand new news, music features, Scope Life, gambling, CBD. I mean, whatever, it's on there, okay? Go enjoy, please. <laughs>